here in the greenhouse today. The sun is shining and we're going to show you how we can take some cuttings off our plants for a few reasons. Sometimes you like to maintain your plants and maintain the size of them. The other reason is it's because we want to make some more new plant babies out of our bigger ones. Let's get started and I'll show you how to be successful. So I have my mother plants right here. Some of them are a little lanky and I've chosen plants that have at least two to three nodes on them or like these succulents, they're getting a little bit long, stretching towards the sun. I've chosen some vessels I can pop the little cuttings into or some pots filled with a nice um, peaty soil that's going to hold lots of moisture. And I've grabbed some stem root, which is a rooting hormone as well. This is gonna help us be successful to get those roots growing quickly. So first off, we have our grape ivy here. Now when I'm taking my nodes, I find the main stem here. So not the leaves, but this main stem that's coming and I'll count the nodes. So I wanna count one, two, three, and I'll cut maybe about half an inch right underneath that and I'm usually cutting on an angle. Then I, what I'll do is I'll take this bottom set of leaves off and this middle set of leaves off, so I'm just left with that top leaf there. So one, two, three, leave about half an inch, and I'm cutting on a sharp angle underneath. So this little sedum here, he is growing towards the light and has stretched a little bit, so it's time for us to do some pruning on him. I can do it in a few different ways. I can cut the stems off, and I almost have this little flowerette that I'm just gonna set out on my counter and let it callous over on the bottom before I stick it in a water container or into the soil. Um, or I can just simply, see this one here? I can take the leaves off of this, just like so. And you can see already how some of the little plants are growing out of the base of a leaf. So if I just set this out on my counter, let it callous over, I'm actually gonna get little babies growing out of the bottom just like that. This beautiful pothos plant, we're gonna keep it trimmed. I want it to stay nice and round, so wherever I'm cutting, it's also gonna bush and branch. So I'm taking this pothos plant, again, I'm going from the end, I've got one node here, one node here, and the third node is here. I'm gonna snip it there, and then I can make more than one cutting out of this stem. So one, two, three, I'm gonna give it a little snip there. Now this stem here is actually gonna die back down to this next leaf node, so I'm just gonna take that and trim that off right at the beginning and then take this bottom leaf off and I'm ready to get going for propagating. So now we have our cuttings all trimmed up and we're ready to get them going and sticking them in water. So first off, I have a rooting hormone and what the rooting hormone is gonna do is you're gonna dip your plant just where the cut is into the rooting hormone powder sort of tap it off just like so. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna sort of add that sort of fertilizer and extra oomph and nutrients to help getting those roots going, nice, strong and healthy. Now, when you're choosing your rooting hormone, there's number one, number two, number three. What does that mean? Number one is for your soft wood, so something that's nice and soft, almost looks like new growth. Number two is for semi-hard wood, so something that maybe has a little bit more of a woody stem. And number three is for your woody stem, so something like an outdoor tree shrub, those types of things. I really love this Wilson's root. It's a gel that you can use as well. Um, this one is great because it also has a fungicide on it as well too. So once I have this dipped, I'm just going to fill my container up and I'm going to stick it into this little vial. I'm filling this up with water and I'm going to stick my little cutting right in like so. That's all you have to do. So I'm going to continue doing that with all my plants. Just snip the little leaves off of the base. Dip it in the rooting hormone, tap it off, and stick it into my vials. So many cute different vials that you have. I really, really love this one here. Something that maybe you can put on a desk. So I'm gonna do this one as a bit of a shorter cutting. Fill it up with water. Just like so. I can stick my cuttings in here. And then this one's nice and cute on my desk. I also have a phone holder here. So super cute way, aesthetically pleasing, but I'm also creating new plant babies. For my succulents, I may wanna take the soil and I've just get the soil a little bit wet with a mister bottle, not soaking wet. And then what I wanna do with the succulent leaves is I'm just gonna lay them on the soil and I like laying them out almost in a flower shape because it looks nice and pretty. Just like so. And then those are gonna sit out in the sunshine and eventually you're gonna have little plant babies there. So there you have it. 
some different easy ways you're going to be able to get little cuttings and be able to produce more little plant babies. You'll know when to take them out when you start seeing roots grow off the bottom. You're ready to stick them into soil and transplants.